Happy Devils Monday. This is the Let's Go Devils podcast. Yeah, we just want to do a quick podcast about the goalie situation in New Jersey. Today, Aaron Dell was claimed off of waivers by the New Jersey Devils from the Toronto Maple Leafs. I mean, do we call him Aaron or do we call him A.A. Ron? I'm not even sure, short guy. Let's not. Let's not. I know, I, I know. know. I don't know why. Some some reason that bothers me, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, well, have you ever seen that clip? Have you ever seen that clip? I, part of it. I've yeah. seen part of it. It's just uh, it's so overused. It's just so overused at this point that <laughs> I it's just my personality. When something gets overused, I'm like, just just stop. I don't even want to bother. But that's me. Maybe <laughs> I'm just not fun. <laughs> okay. Look at you. Well, though. Look at you with the button-down shirt on and all kinds of semi-formal tonight, business casual over there. Well, it's business casual, happy Devil's Monday. I mean, this is what happens okay. when you start winning. You start getting w- winning habits, right? <laughs> As we're streaming live on Facebook Live, Twitter, Periscope, YouTube Live, and Twitch on the Primetime Radio Network. So also they claimed uh, over the weekend. Uh, wait, Eric- wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You forgot Amazon. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and we're also on Amazon Prime Music as well. <laughs> so when you get your Amazon deliveries, think of us, and you can listen to the Let's Go Devils podcast while you're ordering <laughs> exactly. during this pandemic. Anyway, so, so uh, getting yep. what's at hand? Yeah, so Eric Comrie also yep. uh, was acquired by the New Jersey mm-hmm. Devils. Both Comrie and Dell are uh, in quarantine as they when they re- arrive in New Jersey. They got to fo- follow protocol before they join the team. Um, but Tom Fitzgerald stocking up, stocking up on some goaltenders after Corey Crawford uh, suddenly retired, uh, f- you know, from the NHL. So uh, yeah, I'm going to throw it to you, Shorts Guy. You are the goalie expert here. I mean, obviously, this is Mac Black's team. Uh, yep. But this kind of goalie depth, I mean, the Devils have a lot of goalies vying for that, you know, the AHL yeah. spot, but also for the, for that spot behind Mackenzie Blackwood. Yeah, you know, I, you know M- Mackenzie Blackwood is, I believe, the out and out starter now. It that's that's something we can easily say. Uh, and and the pickup of Dell today was was merely to get experience behind. Um, behind McKenzie just in case that something happens. And we spoke about this last night on the big show that um, you want depth because who, who knows what's going to happen this season. Eventually someone's going to be on the, on the COVID list. It's just, it, it's bound to happen. We, we hope it doesn't, but you know, it, it's, it's bound to happen. And you know, the, the goalies are, are in the team just like everyone else. You know, you look at, you know, underneath uh, Mac black b- before today, you had Sen, um, Wedgwood, and uh, and I'm I'm drawing a, a, a blank. What uh, you just said his name? I don't know why I'm drawing a blank right now. Uh, anyway, um, hold on, I'm drawing a blank right when I don't need to. Either what? way, experience. So oh, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Sorry. Yeah, Comrie. Comrie. For some reason, I couldn't think of that. Don't you look at the hashtag We Are Fun ticker live live ticker. That's what I was looking no, at. I look at my camera. I look at my camera so so that everyone okay. can see my face. Okay. So, okay. All right. So be, be, between so prior to today, we had, we had Comrie, Sen, and Wedgwood, and between the three of them, it was. Let's see. I'm terrible at math, but we're looking at it. 34 games played in the NHL. Now we bring in Aaron Dell with 107. Who has 48 wins? That's he has more wins in the NHL than the other three guys have games played combined. So that th- this was a depth move. Uh, he will probably be your out and out backup. My, I I don't see Wedgwood backing up prior to him. You know, obviously, you know he will when he's in quarantine. Uh, but once Dell is here, that's going to push Wedgwood probably to that 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 taxi squad to that number three uh, goalie uh, and. You know, it, it, it could be, and those players could be called upon, uh, you know, before, you know, before warm-ups are over. I mean, look what happened in the Islander Ranger game the other day. 
Uh, Varlamov took that shot up high, and uh, who'd you see on the bench? But you saw Snyder on the bench because the e bugs, I don't believe, are being used this year, uh, probably because of COVID protocol, but I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on that. But, uh, you know, you're going to need three guys that are there. Uh, I had said that we could potentially see uh, Wedgwood this week, um, you know, with Dell being in, in uh, having to be in quarantine. I, I still believe not, not this week, but next week we'll see Wedgwood, but we may not see Wedgwood for a while after that once, once Dell is here with the team. Yeah, you know what? Um, from the get-go, Tom Fitzgerald is not taking the goalie position for granted. Given what's been going on, you, absolutely you can't. Cannot. You absolutely cannot. Yeah, and so he's definitely being proactive and stocking up. I mean, that's part of the reason why he went after Corey Crawford in the off season, yep. right? So, uh, and you, you know, it sucks, but you know what? Uh, what's done is done. We have to move on. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, and you know, we wish Corey well, but you know, right now, um, as as a solution, uh, he's picking off. Uh, goaltenders off the waiver market, but it, it does help that the Devils uh, are in the higher <laughs> uh, percentage of getting through, getting acquiring through waivers uh, with yeah. with the higher pick. So that's all good. That's all good. Um, but you know, again, Mac Black, you know, is he going to start all fifty six games? No, but I think he's going to get a majority of it. He's going to get a majority of it, and it should be interesting, you know, where they put him, you know, when Daisy gets off. Yeah, you know, it, that's going to be that other thing too. Do you, if, if they give him a full day off, do they give him a full day off where he's not even at the game, where he's maybe watching from the press box? Uh, that's going to come down on on the coaching staff and McKenzie himself to say, yeah, you know what. Uh, Oh, shorts guy, we lost your feed. You know, looking at, you know, when we look at the schedule, uh, we do have a couple back-to-backs coming up, and you know those those games are gonna we're we're gonna need uh, McKenzie to to play well. Here we go. I'm trying to. I'm getting lost in my app here. I mean, we've we've got. You know, we were discussing this last night. We're, we're pretty much a game every other day. You know, we had two, day, two days off between uh, Saturday and tomorrow. We get two days off Friday and Saturday this week. But then after that, they don't have more than a day off until uh, February, what is this, February 7th and 8th. They have two days off in a row. Uh, and other than that, it's, it's, it's one game, one game. And we have two back-to-back yeah, two back -to -back sets in that, in that period of time as well. Uh, yeah, two back to back. So it's, you're going to see, uh, Wedgwood. And I think as soon as Dell is here, Dell is, you know, record wise, Dell is the, uh, superior goalie. Wedgwood only has 24 games played. He's seven wins, 10 losses and, 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 and the five OT, uh, games. Whereas, uh, Dell is 48, 34 and 12. Uh, Dell's got the better goals against average with two, uh, two, two, seven, six, where Wedgwood is three Oh five. So, uh, Dell by the numbers is the better of the two goalies. Wedgwood could, you know, Wedgwood could edge him out uh, in practice. But again, we talked about this last night. You want competition, so you want Wedgwood and Dell to push each other to have to give Lindy Ruff that hard decision of, you know, who is my backup tonight. Uh, and you also want to have them competing so that they are in the position to where if we need one of them to go in. Uh, that they've pushed themselves to the point where they can play very well and that when they get that opportunity, they want to keep that opportunity, even though they know they're probably not going to take it away from Blackwood, unless for some reason he tanks, which we all hope he doesn't. Um, but you got to remember that anything's possible. Uh, you know, you want these guys to be able to, to, to jump in a game, uh, whether it's, you know, a game that they're going to start or, you know, part of, part of your role of the backup is you don't have a day off. You're sitting on the bench mentally preparing in case you have to go in uh, you're preparing yourself and you're watching the game. You're you've learned the tendencies and practice of the team you're playing uh, and you're kind of mentally preparing yourself. Should you have to go in and more than likely you're not going to go in if you're backing up it's it's unless the game is a blowout, uh, but you always have to be prepared. Uh, but with, with this compressed schedule uh, you know, it's two days off here and there. We got a three day break at the end of February 
for the most part, though, it's it's probably going to be a 60-40 split, I would, I would say, between Blackwood and a combination of Wedgwood-Dell. Probably more so Dell when, once he gets integrated with the team. But, you know, then again, uh, you know, Wedgwood could say, hey, you know what? I was here before Dell, and this is my backup spot to lose. Uh, because those mm-hmm. backup spots, if you have it, you don't want to you you don't want to be relegated to number three. No one no one does. Everyone wants to be the starter. No one wants to be the backup. Um, but you absolutely don't want to be relegated to 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 the number three position because and, you're even and further. You know what? Back and in, not only with the whole COVID situation, but uh, I mean last last season, Mac Black took that puck, you know, uh, to the face. And uh, and and spend some time mm-hmm. uh, recuperating, right? You you don't have time to recuperate, uh, wait for your no. star player to re- recuperate, especially uh, with the fifty six game uh, season. So changing gears, changing mm-hmm. gears right now. There's a big game tomorrow. There's an absolutely big, big, big game tomorrow. tomorrow, right? All the yeah. hype, all the hype. Uh, I, as me as a Homer fan, I'm still pissed that the. Uh, that the Rangers got the first overall pick and the way they got it, you know, and, um, you know, it's time for uh, New Jersey to kind of go to Madison Square Garden and and draw first blood in this new rivalry uh, between the two teams. Um, You know, uh, Chris Ryan uh, reported that, um, you know, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, because uh, under normal circumstances, uh, the team would actually travel to New York, stay in a hotel, morning skate. Instead, they'll do the morning skate in Newark tomorrow, head to the city uh, for the game later in the day, and then come back right afterwards. Uh, and they you know, are trying to uh, avoid hotel stays, right? Um, you know, it's just the little things, you know, that we, we as fans like, yeah. look into yeah, it's like being in high school or, or, or college again when it comes to travel. You know, you travel day of, or being in juniors, you travel day of a lot of time. And it's really not a very long bus ride. And and that's really where we benefit being in our division is that we uh, we can avoid a lot of this unnecessary travel because MSG, you know, that dump MSG is, you know, 15 minutes away, 20 minutes away with no traffic, um, probably 30. I'm not very good with with you know uh, driving distances from Newark to New York. It's short. Going out oh, to yeah. Long Island, hour hour and a half, maybe an hour, depending on traffic. Uh, going to Philly is an hour and a half. Uh, wa- you know, you're probably going to have to stay overnight going to Washington, Boston, and Pittsburgh, and Buffalo as well. But we we luck out. We can do these these, these short hop travels real quick before we go. Uh, let's go Devils uh, to to Joey and Nick in the group. Matt Junio, you're right. Nico won't be back, but I still tried to pick him up. I still picked him up just to put him on my on my uh, on my fantasy team to put him on the IR. So thank you guys for listening. Ray Leo, Eric Burns, we see you guys are listening. Thank you for listening. Again, if you have not yet, set your alerts uh, for when we go live. We're going to be doing these random live podcasts, so set your alerts so that you know when we go live, uh, and you can always tune in whether it's 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 live live or if you want to uh, download our our uh, episodes later we we love those downloads too oh yeah and uh one, and one more thing uh we'll give you a little tip uh tomorrow we will be doing a post game uh oh, live live podcast uh getting your reaction after devils uh rangers conclude yeah come with reactions yeah. come come with reactions we'll 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 discuss them live on air with you we'll read your comments uh, we are the most commented Devils podcast in the uh, on the internet right now, and and, and in the uh, the history of podcasts. Stacy White says "woo," so we're right back at you. And uh, Omar says hello to both of us, Sam. So what's up, Omar? Hello, hello. Come tomorrow, watch the game. You know, take notes. Come with comments. We're going to be talking about it. We hate the Rangers. You hate the Rangers. Tomorrow is Rangers Hate Day. I say Ranger Hate Day starts right now, twenty four hours away from puck drop. It's currently oh, absolutely. Ranger Hate Day. I'll make some posts tomorrow. We'll have some fun with it. Ranger Hate Day. Rangers suck. Till next time, yep. let's go Devils.